Several hospitals across the U.S. are testing a new treatment that could help people suffering with ALS. Dr. Malika Marshall talks with a father of three who is hoping that this will help his fight. 41-year-old David Neufagleis was a healthy family man and mechanical engineer when he started noticing constant twitching in his arm. After months of tests, the devastating diagnosis came back last January as ALS. Hearing a doctor say it, it, uh, it takes your breath away. You think about all your, your hopes and dreams for the future and your family and your career and your, you know, everything, and it puts all those in, in question. Life suddenly shifted for David, his wife, and their three daughters. ALS, which is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is progressive and there's no cure. Most patients die within three to five years. So David was open to any potential treatments. His doctors told him about a clinical trial at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston testing a new stem cell technology. The treatment from Brainstorm Cell Therapeutics uses the patient's own stem cells. They're multiplied and matured to make them behave more like brain cells, then injected back into the patient where the cells help repair the brain and spinal cord. Researchers hope the treatment can decrease brain inflammation that causes worsening of ALS. These stem cells from people's own bodies can act as anti-inflammatory, like an anti-inflammatory drug. The disease has already affected David's balance and his hand movements, but he says he's grateful to take part in the study. My hope for this trial is that finally ALS patients have a powerful weapon they can fight their disease with. He gets injections every eight weeks and is encouraged about what the treatment could do for him and others. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Boston. About 200 people are being recruited to take part in the clinical trial. Three previous smaller trials did show positive results.